So today we're going to be talking about old laptops. So a lot of the times I get customers and they have these old laptops and they ask, oh, what are, should I do with them? Should I throw it out? Should I spend money in it? The laptop's about five or six years old, yada, yada. So here's the deal. When you have a laptop, you need to figure out what is your purpose? What do you want to do with it? Um, if you're going to game on a laptop, yeah, old laptops, you really can't do too much with them. I mean, you might be able to play some older games with it, but for the most part, laptops don't transition well. In my opinion, some laptops don't transition well into most modern day games. You could play them and you're going to struggle a little bit. Or if you need just a good, reliable office laptop or just portable laptop for browsing the web, YouTube, um, just typing files or whatever you decide to do with it, old laptops are actually still pretty good to use and they're real cheap. I had a client and they had nine of these laptops. This is the Dell, let's put it back into here. The Dell 11, IM 11Z3593 Black, okay? It's a 11.6 inch widescreen Intel Core i3 330U M 1.2 gigs of RAM, uh, 1 to point gigs uh, on the clock, three megs, three megs of cache, two gigs of RAM and a 256 regular hard drive. Has Wi-Fi. Um, also has the 3G, 4G stuff, but we ain't worried about that part of it. So this laptop, what can we do with it? Um, as it sits, can you run Windows 10 with it? Yes, but it's not going to be the best experience in my opinion. So today we're going to be taking an old laptop just like this, and I have nine of these that I got to do, and we're going to upgrade them. So we're going to start with this one right over here. This laptop is actually pretty simple to upgrade, and it's probably one of the more simple ones that I've actually ever had to deal with. And considering that I'm doing nine of these, it's a blessing that they're so simple to upgrade. So let's get rid of all this crap over here. I just like throwing things around. And let's take a look at it. So uh, the previous owner, they, had a whole, uh, they all had Windows 10 on it. This thing runs slow as dirt. So with a laptop, what can we do? How can we get it Windows 10 ready? Well, taking a look at Microsoft's website, which let's transition over here. Transition, transition. Uh, I don't know if it comes up in the camera, but I think they usually do. So from Microsoft's website, what do you need to run Windows 10? Uh, one gigahertz processor, check, we got 1.2. Uh, one gig of RAM, we got two gigs, but eh, don't recommend it. And 16 gigs of hard drive space, okay? And a graphics card for DirectX 9 later and display 800 by 600. So very important, this is the minimum specs. But we don't wanna go by minimum specs. We wanna make them run a lot better than minimum specs. So this is what we're gonna do. So today we're going to be taking this laptop and we're going to upgrade two things to it. It has two gigs of RAM. We're going to upgrade it to four gigs of RAM. Now, like I said, these laptops, the customer just had them lying around with their business. They just want to upgrade them so people could just get in and just browse the interweb and all that other good stuff. But that's it. It's just for browsing. It's just for research. Nothing super duper fantastic. Okay. So the RAM we're going to be using, Samsung uh, PC3 8500. Got this for $10 on Amazon, very cheap. And what we're gonna be using is the solid state hard drives. So 120 gig solid state hard drive. Um, these are the Inland Professionals. I like these hard, I like these solid state hard drives. I haven't had no issues with them. They run solid, they run smooth, and they run fast. So when you upgrade these old laptops, the two things you're gonna do need is number one, any laptop, if it has a mechanical hard drive, you need to go solid state. I don't care how old the laptop is, if you put a solid state in here, this thing's gonna run fast like a rocket. I mean, well, rockets don't run, but it's gonna run real fast. And memory. It says one gigs of, mem uh, one gigs of RAM for Windows 10, uh, nah. Two gigs, nah. You're gonna need at least four gigs. On this laptop, you can max it out at four gigs and it'll run fine. So I've already done a couple of these laptops already, but I just want to do a video on this one since you know I keep getting a lot of questions about old laptops. You know, should I throw them away? Should you throw an old way laptop away? Depends how old it is. My thing is, if it's still at least um, a Core i3, the Core 2 Duos will kind of shine away from them, but any uh, uh, Core i3, we can, we're good with them. We can use them, we can make them run Windows 10 without an issue, and newer. So that's my rule of thumb for these laptops. Anything less than an i3, mm, at least have one gig, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, CPU clock should be at one gigahertz at least. Should be a little more, but we make it 1.2. All right, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna open it up. My HyperTalk kit, all right. I ain't got no money like that, so we're not gonna be using iFixit, but maybe in the future I might buy an iFixit kit. So on this laptop, this is probably, like I said, this is the simplest laptop I've ever probably built and dealt with. 
Uh, the memory is right over here. I mean, simple. Look at that. Done. Pop in the RAM chip right here. Squeeze, uh, slide it in. If I could slide it. If I could slide it. Push it in. I don't know if it gets it in the camera. Of course, now after doing this nine, ten times, there we go. You'll feel a click. After doing nine, ten times, of course, it's going to give me a hard time. Boom. Nice. Simple and easy. <clears throat> now for this one. Most laptop hard drives, sometimes you got to take the whole bottom apart. Sometimes it's a little more involved. This one's actually very simple. So if anybody has these, uh, this old Dell 11Z, hey, this is an easy upgrade. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. All right. So take out this bolt, not bolt, screw right here. Take out this screw right over here. And my magnetic tip. Yep, there we go. I should grab it. Don't lose your screws. I've lost screws in the past. There we go. It's like kind of fishing. And get this one right over here. And I'm actually going to bring this in closer so you can see which ones it is. And there we go. Simple. So as you see right over here, it's only going to be this one, this one, this one. These are the three that actually hold the keyboard in place on this laptop. So if you take those three out, real simple. Let's go ahead and put our memory cover back in. Since we're done with the memory. Now when upgrading these laptops, find out memory, what memory it has and use the same speeds. Um, I've had bad results with using different clock speeds. Sometimes they vary, but for the most part, if it has 8500, 1066, that's what you want to use. So now what I do is I go ahead, I open this up. In the back over here, we need to push this keyboard out. So this keyboard, as you can see, is not coming out. So then what I go ahead and do is the middle hole right over here, paper clip, push it in. And as soon as you push it in, it pushes it out. And as you can see, we got it raised right over here. All right. This pops out real easy. Pull it to the side. So now the next thing we have is our solid state, is our mechanical hard drives. Which these hard drives, um, you can get online and you can actually get one of those hard drive caddies and makes this an external hard drive. Yes, this is only 256 gigs of RAM, but I mean, storage is storage. It's a perfectly good hard drive. All right. Once we take these two screws out over here, if we can get it in, one, two, slide this thing out. Like I said, this is the easiest laptop I've ever upgraded. Now we're going to unscrew it from the drive cage. Four screws. Don't lose the screws. Like I said, if you lose the screws, better hope you have some extra ones. All right, slide that out. Remember the orientation that you took it out so you don't put this one in the wrong place. So this one went in that way, so that's how it's gonna go in. And we're gonna slide it into the caddy right over here. Now this is thinner, which is not an issue because the screws is what lines in place. But let's get one of these screws over here and this is where it becomes fun, kind of, sort of. So just take it in, line it in. Like I said, it's thinner, so if it bottoms out, the screw holes are not gonna line up. And the great thing about upgrading to these solid state hard drives is that they're lower power consumption. I mean, it's not gonna be a significant uh, improvement, but I have found uh, battery life to last a lot, a little longer, okay? Like I said, you're not gonna get like a whole extra hour out of it, but you know, every little bit counts. So it's less power consumption because it has no moving parts. So get all these four in. As soon as you got them screwed in, done. Don't go cattywampus tightening the crap out of it. And all we gotta do is take it, line it up, and we get that right in there, push it in, slide, done. Now we take our two screws that kind of hold it in place, screw them down, nice and easy. Like I said, once they're snug, that's it. That's all you really need to do. You don't need to go crazy, and I can't emphasize that enough. Just don't go crazy doing this. So once you're done, push down on it, make sure the cable does. It's gonna stick up a little bit, it's fine. Close the lid, flip it over. As soon as you flip it over, take your three screws, screw it back down, make sure it catches and you'll feel it. As soon as it catches, you're good to go. If you go too crazy on screwing these things in, you will break them. Ask me how I know, because I've broken many things, but you know what? Gorilla Glue works great. But luckily for this, I have not broken anything, so we're good. But in the past, I have. After that, you're pretty much done. 
So then what you're going to need next is once you're done with that, go ahead and get yourself a thumb drive. I mean, just any one, don't matter which one. I got this orange one over here. Okay, let me go ahead and set this up. We'll do the boot real quick, and then I'll show you exactly how to install Windows on this. All right, so now that we got this thing cleaned up, this thing's put back together, what you need to do is you need to get yourself a USB thumb drive. So um, I always recommend at least 16 gigs, in my opinion, because I like to put in other software to kind of assist when I'm doing these builds, so I can put in all these other stuff. It kind of saves time on it. I mean, you could get away with 8 gig, but 8 gig minimum, I like 16. I like to have the space on it. So what you need to do is you need to get yourself a U, um, USB drive, one that's bootable with a bootable image of Windows 10. If you have a UF, UEFI um, image saved on these, these older laptops don't support it, it won't boot off of it. So you need to make sure that you have a non-bootable, uh, a non-UEFI copy of Windows 10 on your USB thumb drive. There are videos out there, look it up. Um, I might do an explanation on that later, but for now, make sure you don't have a UF, UEFI if your computer does not support it or your laptop doesn't support it. In this case, this one doesn't. So let's power this on. And what we're gonna need to do is we need to get into the BIOS. So now check with the manufacturer to find out how to get in. Sometimes it tells you over here, sometimes it doesn't. So now that I'm in the BIOS, the first thing I wanna do is make sure that it picks up my four gigs of RAM, which I see right over here, and it picks up my 120 gig hard drive. So next thing I'm gonna do is it's set to boot from the hard drive, which you ain't gonna find nothing on it. Let's move it down and let's change it to USB uh, storage device. So let's swap that real quick. That's all we need to do in here, done. Now, next thing it's going to do is it's going to start going through the process. It's going to do the whole boot thing. It's going to tell you, hey, you know, username, partitions, all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to do an in-depth guide of how to install Windows 10, but pretty much once you get this far, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Just go through the process. Uh, this one, because it's Windows 7, and I've talked about this in other videos, it already has a copy of, um, it has a Windows 7 key in it, which you can use for your Windows 10, so you'll be good to go. So that also saves you money. So now this laptop, yeah, we could have thrown it away, and we're just going to recap on this. You could throw it away, and you could spend another $300 on a newer laptop, but not everybody has money. And if you're doing budget, which we're a budget-minded channel, it's the easy way to go. The memory was $10, the hard drive was $25. The hard drive used to be $20, but prices, whatever. So $35, a uh, copy of Windows 10 is free. You can get them anywhere. Just search the interweb for it. And for $35, you brought this laptop back to life. You probably get another year or two out of it for 35 bucks. And then you can save your money and get yourself a better, faster laptop or do whatever you got to do. So real quick, real easy, simple tip. Anybody can do this. Um, there are YouTube videos, there are websites that show you how to disassemble each laptop and how to upgrade them. This is the easiest one to do. So if anybody has this laptop, go ahead, pop in extra two gigs of RAM. Solid state hard drive, it'd be good to go. I've already set up a couple of these. They run fine, they run fantastic. Great for office, great for watching videos. So yeah. So comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, questions, concerns, improvements, or anything like that that you think you can make. And thanks for watching, and we'll see what comes up next.